Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In this video, we will learn about the temperature controller card for FX5 PLC that is FX5-4LC. Here are some of the buffer registers and I opened the manual of this controller. So let's get started with GXOX3. I'll open a new project. For registers and with the basic of the minimum setting. So I will add a card here first for FX5 4 MC. This is 4 channel card and it can work in equally and the standard PID operation also. The PID is inbuilt in it and you can use auto training uh, function also. It's taking some time. In the parameter section, as you can see, there is no module, and I'm just going to do it first. This is temperature controller, and this is FX5 for LG. I'll click OK. And the mounting position is first. Now, let us open the setting for FX5 for LG card. This is setting in here that the standard PID is used in both year one, year two, and there are four channels. And uh, let me change the application setting. The application setting let me put as as this will fix as uh, this is our uh, thermocouple range or minus 100 to 400 degrees. as a limit value as 400 I can use 250 I will maximum 250 I want use 250 and minus now I'm not going to uh, further uh, add any changes to this setting as if you want and as per your comment you can change all the settings if you require and also there is a refresh setting where you can get error code and all that values present value mv so if you require you can use this also nice short to flag but i'm going to use the buffer only so let's jump to the programming section right away so at first i want to set the uh, i want to write the value to the controller that is a set value so buffer here is i think 430 uh, let me check yes this is 430 channel number one set value so i will just write down as 400 this is always on flag and uh, move d0 u1 of the g 430 okay for comments let us use the Predefined sample comments. So, intelligent function module channel one is FX5 LC. So click OK. Yes. Now, as you can see, that you can see the 430 is here, and uh, you can rename it as set value channel number one. Set value. channel number one now the second part is getting the uh, reading the present values I will move MOV buffer is I think 402 here temperature process value 402 so that is u1 of G 402 2 to d 10 some random values present value now as this is done now 
for the uh, I am using SSR output here. So once the PID is in running mode, so it will trigger some output in milliseconds, and uh, that will uh, activate or you can say enable the heater to operate. So for this transistor output flag, I will use U1 oblique G405.0. So this is channel 1 transistor output flag. And uh, you can output any of the output O U T Y equals zero. Heater output one. Okay. Now uh, you can also use a ready command here for channel for uh, this uh, card. You can public G. 398.0 that is module ready now if uh, i want to use uh, uh, auto tuning of uh, this card so i will use module ready and i will set this g399.1 as the setting operation mode sorry output this is must be in output sorry out and then now I will add the flag flag mode U1 of the G 398.1. Uh, this is the flag and uh, auto tuning a bit here in U10. The auto tuning tuning on. Auto tuning on. Now. You can use U1 oblique G that is for auto tuning on for channel number one. So I have a sorry again. This is output. Okay. So once this, uh, once you press M10, the auto tuning for channel number one will start. And once the chair of uh, auto tuning is complete, then you will get the falling edge of UN oblique G398.4 that is auto tuning status. So I will use the falling edge of this here, okay, and I will reset the M10 here. Rst M10, I will reset the M10 bit, and also in case. If uh, you want an oblique G398.4 sorry, 398.1 sorry, 1 that is the setting operation flag is off. In that case also we are not going to and uh, we are going to reset the uh, M10. That means we, are, we will not be able to reset the uh, set the auto -tain. So this is the program for uh, one channel number one with standard PID operation. So if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.